Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Pete here with MixBetterNow.com, coming to you with a brand new Mix Critique Monday on a Tuesday. Uh, I apologize, I wasn't able to get this up yesterday, so figured better late than never. Uh, so today's actually the 7th, but this uh, Mix Critique Monday is for the week of February 6, 2017. Uh, as always, for those of you who are new uh, and just tuning in, I'd like to say welcome. Uh, what Mix Critique Monday is, is it's a platform to get another set of ears on one of your uh, mixes. So uh, all you have to do is uh, feel free to send me uh, any of your mixes in an MP3 or a WAV format. You can email me. My email address will be below in the show notes. Uh, and it's basically a very uh, friendly, positive environment to sort of, like I said, get another set of ears on uh, one of your mixes and to sort of uh, do some constructive criticism. So if I hear some stuff um, that I feel like can be improved upon or um, sort of tweaked, I will absolutely offer that feedback to you. Uh, you know, and it's just a really good, uh, it's a really good place. Everybody who watches too sort of learns and kind of hears different things. So, uh, it's a really fun time. Uh, at the end of the, uh, at the end of this, uh, show, I'm going to kind of go into some uh, more depth as to what you need to do to send me some stuff. Uh, it's pretty easy, uh, but if you watch any of the prior episodes, you will also uh, also get that info. So uh, up today, we've got three mixes on deck as usual. Uh, we've got one from Brandon Smith, from Laz Rabone, and uh, from Skinny G, of course. Um, so yeah, uh, really excited to hear you guys' mixes. I've heard all of your stuff before, and it keeps getting better and better, uh, so I am stoked. The first one up here is um, is the track Lights Are Low uh, from my buddy Matt McCalkin. Uh, this is a set of multi-tracks you will get free in my audio swag bag for signing up on my email list uh, over at the website MixBetterNow.com, along with some other stuff. Uh, we have free multi-track sessions like this, of course. We have uh, free mix templates, free drum samples, uh, free Bricasti impulse responses, um, uh, free plugins, okay? Lots of cool stuff, so make sure you go jump on the email list if you're not on it, stay in the loop. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this first one here, Lights Are Low by Matt McCalkin, mixed by Brandon Smith. Here we go. Without a sound Blankets can't cover this empty feeling without you around The alarm rings loud We've been here waiting for such a long time And I can't help the feeling for what's on your mind Been watching you pull but I don't want to fix you to letting go It's all over now Okay, cool. Uh, it's sounding pretty good so far, Brandon. Uh, a couple things that I am hearing uh, right off the bat. I know this uh, this song very well, so I'm pretty well versed with the raw tracks. And of course, uh, some of the, you know, everything's got their, their issues, I suppose, things to be worked out. But uh, a couple of basic fundamental things that I'm hearing. Uh, the low end seems a little bit, a little bit hot, so the bass is, is a little bit loud for me. That can probably come down a little bit, or you can just throw a high pass filter, uh, maybe on your bass bus or your uh, the bass track. Um, the other thing is that the snare. Um, it sounds to me like you've gone ahead and, and added a snare sample to the original snare. That's that's pretty loud and kind of um, almost dominating uh, the rest of the drum kit there. And it sounds like you got quite a bit of reverb going on. Um, I would back off that reverb a little bit. Um, that's just a taste thing, but definitely the volume of that sample seems a little bit overbearing. Um, it just seems a little unbalanced on the kit. Um, and then with Matt's vocal, it's a little bit boomy and low heavy. Um, I know Matt is a baritone by nature, so he definitely has that, but you know, he's got that kind of thunderous voice that he can have, but, um, I would definitely pull like some two or some 300 out of, out of his vocal just to kind of, um, you know, especially in, in, a, in a rock tune like this where it's not an acoustic track and you kind of want the full frequency spectrum on his vocal, I would maybe just clean that up a little bit. But so far, you know, it sounded pretty good. So let's keep uh, let's keep going. Give me half a second and I'll tell you all I know. The only time I change my mind is when the lights 
saw the love We bent and we tried Till the past came around I'd love to hear some more of the guitars because, you know, during the chorus, I'm really hearing that, you know, that acoustic and then also some of the electrics come through. I'd love to hear some more guitar and maybe a little bit less of that, uh, that very cool ambient pad that's in there. Um, just because, you know, I know it's kind of tempting to, to throw that, that pad up just because it sounds so cool, but you know, this really is a guitar driven track. So, um, obviously the vocal is the most important thing in any song with a vocal, <clears throat> Excuse me, but then the next most important thing in a in a rock track like this, where it's a guitar playing singer songwriter, is definitely going to be the guitar. So I kind of want to hear, I want to hear that acoustic, you know, kind of chugging, and I want to hear the percussive nature of the pick on the acoustic strings. But then I also really want to hear those guitar parts, the electrics coming through, uh, in the mix here. Beating hearts in different rhythm makes such a terrible sound. We don't know a thing. Been here waiting for such a long time, and I can't help but feeling for what's on your mind. Watching you pull, I don't want to fix you letting go. I only hear you singing. See here, uh, if if you take out some of that um, some of that low end, I don't want to call it muddiness, but it's kind of some some. It gives a lot of size to the vocal. If you cut some of that out, um, I don't think the vocal would sound as loud as it does. It's a little bit loud. It's a little dominating, um, in not just in in a volume way, but in a frequency. In that, I'm guessing it's 200, 300 hertz. You know, where uh, vocals can muddy up, especially, um, you know, male vocals like that. So what would be cool is if you take some of that out, uh, it's going to add some more definition to the rest of the vocal, right? So using subtractive EQ, uh, whatever you subtract from, it will enhance the other areas of the frequencies. And I think it would allow the vocal to sit a little bit better there. Um, I know that whenever I mix Matt's stuff, I have to take a whole bunch of low end out of his vocal. I'll do a lot of high passing. Um, like I said, 200, 300, sometimes some 500, 600, you know, for some of that boxiness. I'm not hearing a whole lot of boxiness here, but definitely some of that low end muddiness. Um, the other thing you might want to um, try putting on his vocal is I know depending on which track from that record can be a little bit sibilant. So some DSing might be cool. Uh, whether it's manual DSing or you know using a DSer plugin, um, but I really dig it though. I like, I love how how the um, the the taste, uh, the amount of the effects that you're doing. It's not super dry, but it's not super wet. So I, I really like where um, the vocal's sitting in terms of the depth in the mix. It's in a really great spot. Um, the pads sound cool that you have going on. And, um, I like the sound of the drums. I would just pull that, uh, that sample back a little bit, you know, by all means, it's a great sounding snare sample. It's just a little, a little loud. So it kind of takes away from the kick. It takes away from, uh, you know, from stuff like that. So let's keep going. When things just feel right.
Great job, Brandon. Man, your mixes are always really good, so you're doing really good work. Um, I love what you did, just to point out. I love what you did when it kind of comes into the crescendo of the bridge here, and then it goes into that last hook right here. I think you did a great job with that that um you know that guitar lick the tone of it it's it's kind of perfect in terms of the volume in terms of the tone where it's sitting and interacting with all the rest of the instruments I think it sounds fantastic pretty much that whole stretch I would say from like 240 to 3 you know what is it 330 that uh, the the ratio of the volume of everything interacting with each other is really really great um i think it sounds fantastic right here so really good job on the end plus i i heard it kind of get a little bit louder so that last chorus really kind of comes and hits you in the face which which i think you know all uh all final choruses should definitely do they should you know push them up a little bit of automation which it sounds like you did so really really good job overall very solid just a couple volume tweaks there a uh, little bit of eq moves on the low end of matt's voice and um yeah i think i think you're definitely uh definitely got a great mix there so thank you so much uh, as always brandon for submitting and uh really really great job keep up the good work man uh next up we got my buddy laz from uh from over in the uk Laz is a uh, is a great singer songwriter, and uh, we like a lot of the same types of music, a lot of old stuff from the '50s, '60s, and '70s. Um, this is a uh, one of Laz's uh, one of his songs. It's called January, and um, Laz, um, I believe, uh, records, writes obviously all of his own stuff, but also records it, which is which is fantastic, uh, and mixes it. So you know, uh, very talented guy. And uh, we had one of Laz's tunes back a few months ago, but uh, really dig dig the songs, and uh, I'm excited to hear this one. I haven't heard it yet. This is January, and uh, let's jump on into it and check it out. Here we go. Love it. Sounds great. I just heard today Another round my heroes passed away This sounds so good. I love, I love like how it's, it's got a very organic sound to it, um, and I think it's uh, tonally, it's like very appropriate for for the style of music for the genre. It's got a like a really analog, um, kind of an old school, warm kind of tone to it. You know, if um, if nobody knew knew better, they'd probably think you know maybe this was tracked through a console, the tape. It's got that old school kind of vibe and mojo to it that that I love, like those warm old recordings. Uh, love the tune, man. You're you're super talented guy. So uh, I think the drums sound really cool. The bass is at a very nice level, you know. Yet audible, everything's kind of interacting nice with each other. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of hearing is uh, there's a, maybe a little bit of overall buildup in the low end uh, that could be EQ'd out, you know, a dB or two on the mix bus. And then I think on the vocal, on the lead vocal, um, it might be a little too warm, so maybe a little bit more on the high pass filter, um, you know, scooping out uh, some of the, you know, muddier frequencies can be somewhere, you know, anywhere from 150, 200, 300. Uh, scooping some of that out would be great. I don't hear very much boxiness in the vocal, so I would just kind of focus on cleaning up some of that low end a little bit, not, not getting rid of, of the... Uh, of the warmth of it really but just kind of kind of cleaning it up just doing maybe you know finding one or two spots where there's some build up and pulling it out I think that'll really let the vocal bloom uh, as I'm playing it here I'm gonna just see if there's a couple um, a couple frequencies we can't notch something out and just just clean up the overall um, uh, low end on it the end of what I thought was immortality although the words I disinvent is live on Sometimes we need a light to see the road we're on Feels like it's every other day It seems like everything the night is away The 
tasteful man your playing is awesome love your tunes love your playing um i would bring the volume up on that a little bit um i feel like this uh, I, I don't i'm assuming this isn't mastered just based upon the the way that the waveform looks and everything like that uh lots of dynamic range which is which is great that that's kind of part of what um i think what lends itself to this sound that you've got going on this type of music where um you know stuff back in the 70s man like there's lots you know 15 db a dynamic range and, um, you know, people actually use volume knobs. Crazy, right? Um, I think it's I think it's awesome. I might, you know, maybe a little multiband compression or a little more compression you could even get away with on your on your two bus. I wouldn't squish it. I would just maybe not. You could knock another dB off um, even using a multiband. Uh, one thing I heard with some of this low end here, um, let's back it up and I'll show you what I'm taking out. Little 200. This way. So you can kind of hear some of that, some of that muddiness. Not a lot, just a little bit, like about 3 dB. You've got a pretty strong bass fundamental right around 50, 60 hertz, which is fairly common. So I might even ride this, uh, the high pass filter up even more. The reason you could kind of high pass uh, uh, up that much is because if your bass and your kick fundamental are kind of hovering around 40, 50, 60 hertz, you're really not going to lose much low end. The only stuff that's hanging out at 20 and 30 is kind of um, sub uh, subharmonic stuff that no one's really going to hear unless you have a sub. If you know you're, as I bang the mic, <laughs> unless you're in a um, uh, a club on a you know you got a huge huge sound system. Uh, I'm a big I say high pass everything because it'll tighten up the low end uh if i roll some of this back and i solo the frequency you could hear some of these sub lows that we're getting rid of just some of that stuff like no one's gonna hear that So I would take out about, I, do, I would do a little high pass around 30. You could scoop a little 200 out. Let's see if something else kind of jumps out when we sweep it. I back up again. This way. Love that lick, so catchy. Yeah, so 300's also jumping out to me, um, 296, 300, close enough. This will often happen when you get um, bass and guitar, uh, even vocals, kind of really competing for that same area. Um, so I often will do, you know, two cuts or as many cuts as I really need to sort of clean that up. Um, I don't want to lose any of that that low end mojo and vibe that you got going on. And I don't think we do by 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 getting rid of this. I'm not doing extremely broad cuts. I mean the cue is uh, over three in both. So it's not like we're doing a you know a, a, with a cue of one where it's extremely broad. Uh, but just taking out this whole area, it's really cleaning it up nicely. Let's let's bring it in and out and I think you'll be able to hear it. <laughs> Let me just do the auto on the level match. That way it'll be a little bit more um, easy to hear. What's cool about that too is by taking out some of that two and three hundred, um, 
I feel like that's kind of helping out some of the low end on on your vocal too. So you might not even need to go in and uh, hit the vocal. It sounds really nice right now where it's at. Um, I'll leave this up and I'll turn it off for now just because I, I I want you know your mix to be heard as it is. So we'll bypass that out. But just so you know, um, try experimenting, getting rid of a little bit of 200 and a little bit of 300. Uh, on your stereo bus and then you can pull up a high pass filter to about 30 hertz and you're really not losing much on the low and it'll tighten it up uh, quite a bit If, if you're comfortable with using multiband compression laws, you could even throw a multiband on your two bus and just kind of peg peg back some of um some of the 200 or the, or the 300, so it can almost act like a dynamic EQ. Um, I don't want to want to throw you off too much because I know uh, multiband uh, compression can definitely can be a confusing thing, and if you if you don't know how to use it, it can definitely jack up your mix. So I wouldn't condone that by any means but i feel like when i bring this in um and we're kind of just getting some of this you know 200 here a little 500 little 300 under control um it sounds good without having the eq in where we're taking out 200 and 300 back it up here Yeah, and it just kind of it compresses the bass a little bit too, and a little bit of the kick drum. I like what that does. So you know, just a just a thought there of an alternative uh, thing to try. Uh, let's listen to this guitar solo again. Really love the melodic playing you have going on. I think it's a great song, man. Uh It sounds to me like you might have like a little bit of a of a harmonizer, like an H three thousand thing or a doubler, just a little bit of pitch shifting going on on your vocal there. Um, I don't know if it's. It almost sounds like it might be smearing the vocal just a little bit. Um, it, it's really hard to know. Let me know. Shoot me an email, Laz. Let me know what you're doing there. Leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what you got on your vocal. One thing you could try doing, because um, because I think that's a great effect. I love love an H three thousand or a pitch shifter, uh, you know, the micro shift on a vocal. Uh, but something I might try is doing a little EQ before or after it to kind of thin it out a little bit, because you can get some low end build up. So I feel like when that part comes in, the vocal just sounds a little bit muddy there. So if you can clean that up a little bit, I think that would really go a long way. This January day. Great song though, man. This is awesome. This January day. This January day. Yeah. 
so cool. What a great bass line, too. Really tasteful bass line. Love that little uh, little Almond Brothers love there with the harmonies going on and the guitars. You know, <clears throat> I think, um, excuse me, I think that, you know, what a great example for anybody watching and listening to this, uh, aside from Laz himself, uh, you know, just a great example of someone who's, you know, writing their own music uh, well, enjoying it, uh, recording at home on a pretty modest setup. I believe, I think, uh, when we've talked, Laz, I think, you know, you don't have a crazy uh, recording rig or anything like that. And you're getting great results in your home studio uh, recording your music. And, uh, you know, you're getting a really good sounding mix here. I, I really love the mix. Very minim, uh, you know, minimalistic things that I think some small tweaks can can make this go a long way. Um, but it sounds like you. It sounds like your music. And that's always, you know, hugely important, more important, um, you know, than sounding like somebody or using a reference mix and saying, oh, it's got to sound like X, Y, and Z. Because really, it needs to sound like you. And as long as it sounds good, then, you know, you're really doing everything that, that you need to do. It's all about the music, what sounds good. If it sounds good, it is good. I say that all the time. So, yeah, big props to Laz for that. Thank you so much for submitting. Um, as always, that was a song called January uh, by Laz Rabone. Hey, Laz, by the way, man, put um, put a link below if you have um, some of your original music, some of your records that everybody can go check out because I think... Uh, I think people would definitely enjoy it. So well done. Really great job, man. Uh, last up, finish it out. Uh, my man, Skinny G. We got to get some more hip hop up in here. Uh, Skinny threw me a bunch of hip hop tracks at one time. So I'm just kind of putting one in every uh, Mix Critique Monday to kind of mix it up a little bit. No pun intended, just to vary it a little bit here. And, uh, you know, lots of cool stuff. Definitely some modern sounding, uh, you know, rap, hip hop stuff. And uh, this one's called Rock Out Chuck. Um, Skinny usually kills these, does a really great job as to, you know, what a good modern sounding, um, you know, rap mix would sound like. So, uh, let's check this one out. This is Rock Out Chuck. I'm not sure, heard this, uh, sure who this is by, but, uh, this is mixed by Skinny G. Here we go. The icons. The icons. I got. Turn that shit out. Hey. Hey. Icon. Hey. 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 Ay, ay, ay. I don't know these niggas, bro, they better us They, better us. they hate them getting money in a setter yeah, When Joe come, on, I slide like a credit card, like a credit card. Yeah. On these niggas, I'm a ball hard I don't know these niggas, bro, they better us They, us. they hate them getting money in a setter yeah, When Joe come, I slide like a credit card, like a credit card. Yeah. On these niggas, I'm a ball Me chalk, you too real for face. Every day your birthday, nigga, get your cake. Side stuck, these niggas just like D Way. Let these. The kick sounds really cool. Um, that you know that 808 pad that you had going on in the beginning there, tonally sounds really good. Um, I would love to hear a little bit more snare or you know uh, some rim shots, whatever you got going on there, uh, in the uh, in the music because it could, um, just just. The, the kick just seems a little bit loud. I know it's where you want it to be loud, but if you're going to make the kick loud and the, and the overall kit loud, I feel like I'd want to hear some of that kick and snare because it's so integral, um, you know, in hip hop. These haters say, just keep decimating. This life I live, these niggas don't like it. Kill Bill. Alien versus Predators. Chopping, chopping down like a tree limb. They see I'm getting money, so they hating on me. When troll come, I'm skating on them. Michael Joy, I'm ballin' on him. Mayweather, I'm stunning on him. I feel like the vocals can be cleaned up a little bit here, actually. Um, when you put that auto, you know, the auto tune effect on a vocal, it imparts a certain tonality on it. So I think after that goes through that process, um, there always needs to be some kind of cleanup EQ going on. Uh, I'm hearing just a little bit of nasaliness. Um, which I find in male vocals is 500, 600, depending on the vocalist, you know, can usually be the sweet spot. So I feel like taking a DB or two out of there with, you know, um, not a super wide cut, but something, you know, a, a two, two and a half uh, on your cue, I think that would 
really clean it up a bit. And it would also make the, the vocals more understandable just because when you go through the auto tune thing, it, you know, it obviously it kind of slurs the lyrics, but, um, that, I think that would help it out a bit. I don't know these niggas on me. Hey, play four, these niggas 12 on me. Credit good, how much slide like a credit card. Ain't finished school, fucking I'm street smart. Gotta know who real, gotta know who fake. These niggas are snakes. Money and make your dogs hate. I don't know these niggas, bro, they better up. She hugged me tight, tear like my Gucci sweater. Got wings on my shoes, I fly up in the feather. Yeah, right here is definitely where I would I would do a little bit of that subtractive EQ, taking out some of the 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 cardboard, um, nasally boxy thing there. I think it would would really make that vocal pop a lot. I mean, overall though, really really solid mix. I mean, um, you know, uh, Skinny, you always do really good work, man. So definitely keep up you know, keep up doing your thing. Um, but you know, like I said, the auto tune thing can throw it off a little bit too. If you're not, if you're not listening. Um, and you know, when you kind of have, um, I don't really know what the effect is. Yeah. 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 That might actually just be a change in the auto tune. Um, you know, uh, uh, with how fast it's moving, it might've just slowed down a bit there, but you know, I just feel like it can be cleaned up a little bit, which would really make it pop. And this seems like it's a, a different vocalist, uh, a different MC from the, the previous one. Um, in terms of, uh, everything else though, it's sounding really good, man. Like a shop, let's get let's go. go. My pistol still like J Lo. See when this lean just pulled me a foe. Me and all my niggas be smoking that kitchen. Hey, where we go, you will keep that Nino. Bitch, I got my stripes in the motherfucking zebra. Bitch, I got my spots in the motherfucking cheetah. What do with my wrist? Jail like a trailer. Play night like jail, jail like Fima. That bitch drawing fast, jail like a Beamer. Bitch, I'm on the hard, jail like a steamer. All my, all my niggas soldiers, full of piranhas. Oh, no, these pussy niggas do not want no problems. See, right there is what I'm hearing in the vocal. So it's right about 500, like I said, 460 maybe. Um, let's see. Right, you kind of get that nasally thing there. Um, I know some of it's auto-tune, but when you get that induced from the auto-tune effect, you kind of have to combat it a little bit by uh, scooping some out. Even there, around 580, 570. Four sixties where I'm hearing it primarily. Uh, let's see if we take a little out if that would clean it up at all. Sounds like it's cleaning it up a little bit to me. All my niggas soldiers full of piranhas. Oh, no, these pussy niggas do not want no problems. They're turning on me, and it's gonna sound. It's definitely helping. Uh, 460 is where I would uh, I would go back into the vocal and uh, pull some of that out. Shooters around me, like my name Obama. I don't know these niggas, bro, they better. These pussy niggas do not want no problems. Like a credit card, only niggas I'm a ball hard. 
cool, man. Yeah, again, uh, really, really solid mix, Skinny. Um, keep up the good work, man. Everything, uh, everything you sent in, excuse me, so far has been uh, has been really good sounding. So, if we minimize these, um, three awesome mixes today. Really impressed. Um, we had Lights Are Low uh, by Matt McCalkin, mixed by Brandon Smith. Great job, Brandon. Please keep up the good work. Uh, we have January by my man Laz Rabone um, over in uh, Birmingham Way, uh, holding it down with the killer tune, January. Great song, great mix. Uh, and then Rock Out Chuck by Skinny G. So three different songs today. Uh, very, very cool. Kind of some different genres going on. Always trying to keep it a little bit interesting. So uh, again, uh, for anyone who wants to uh, submit a song for a Mix Critique Monday, please send me uh, one of your mixes. All you have to do is email me, Pete at MixBetterNow.com. Again, all of my uh, contact information will be below in the show notes. You can also go to MixBetterNow.com and email me straight from there. Uh, in your email, please make uh, uh, the song a downloadable wave file preferably a wave file it's high resolution but if not an mp3 is fine uh, also obviously include your name uh, the name of the song and the name of the artist if it's different from yourself first come first serve you send it to me I download it put it in line and uh, everything is uh, is you know, sequential like that. So very easy. Uh, and thank you for everyone who has submitted is submitting, uh, and so on and so forth. So as always guys, I really, really appreciate the hard work. You're all killing it, doing a really, really good job. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. If there's any uh, questions you have, any comments, please leave them below. If you guys like this, definitely hit that like button. Please subscribe. If you aren't subscribed to the YouTube channel, lots of good stuff on there. Lots of great stuff to come. Uh, and I hope you all have an awesome day. I will catch you next time. Take care.